Factor common factors and grouping. Factor a GCF. Factor means write as a product. So that would be the same thing as writing 6 as 2 times 3. Product means we're writing it as two different things multiplied together. So let's think about if we had a times the expression b plus c. We've learned before that we can distribute in this case, and we'll end up with a times b is ab plus a times c is ac. So these two different expressions here are actually two different ways of writing the same value. And thus far we've done a lot of things where it was helpful for us to distribute, but sometimes it's actually helpful for us to be able to write it in this original left-hand form over here. And when someone asks us to factor, they're asking us to put, a, put our expression in a form more like this. So this is going to be more like what our final result looks like when we factor. So let's talk about how we factor. So when we factor, we put the GCF in front, and then we divide each term by that GCF. And what is left goes in the parentheses. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples so we can really see what's going on here. So, our first example is 9x to the 4th minus 12x to the 3rd plus 6x squared. So the first thing that we have to do in this case is we have to find our GCF. So we've already got a little bit of practice with this. We know that the first thing we need to do to find a GCF is find what number goes into each of these coefficients. It's like they're all divisible by 3. Nothing bigger will go in, so we've got a 3 right here. And then we want to take the smallest exponent on the x, which is the 2. So then we've got x squared. Okay, so we want to remember that our GCF is 3x squared. So our directions right now say that we want to put the GCF in front. So I'll go ahead and write the GCF 3x squared. And then we want to divide that into each one of these terms. 3x squared, 3x squared, 3x squared. And what is left is going to go inside the parentheses. So we'll write down some parentheses here so we can kind of see where our numbers are going to go. So this first term right here, we've got the 9 divided by the 3 leaves us with a 3. And x to the 4th divided by x squared leaves us with an x squared. And our second term, you really want to notice that there's a negative sign right here. We need that to be in our factored form as well. So we've got a minus sign. And then 12 divided by 3 is 4. x to the third divided by x squared leaves us with just a plain x. And then our last term, we've got a plus sign. 6 divided by 3 leaves us with a 2. And x squared divided by x is just 1, so we can just leave this as a plain 2. So, our factored form of our expression is 3x squared, and then we write parentheses, 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So now let's go ahead and look at our second example. Our second example here says 21a to the 4th, b to the 5th, minus 14a to the 3rd, b to the 7th, plus 7a squared, b to the 4th. So this looks like it might be a slightly more complicated example because we've got more variables, but we'll just go through it step by step. 
So, again, the first thing we want to do is find our GCF. And our GCF looks like it's going to have a 7 in it, because 7 can divide into each of these terms, nothing bigger. And then we want to look at our exponents. So the exponents on our a's are all right here. It looks like the smallest exponent on an a is going to be the 2 right there. So now we've got a squared. Okay, and then if we look at the exponents that go along with b, we've got 5, 7, and 4. So the lowest exponent here is going to be b to the fourth. So now we've found our GCF, and we want to write that out in front in our factored expression. 7a squared b to the fourth. And then we can go ahead and divide each term by that GCF. 4th, 7a squared b to the 4th, and 7a squared b to the 4th. Okay, so we'll write our parentheses and figure out what's left. So right here, 21 divided by 7 will leave us with 3. a to the 4th divided by a squared will leave us with a squared. b to the 5th divided by b to the 4th will leave us with just a plain b, and then our second term. Remember, we really got to watch these negative signs. If you've got a negative in the original expression, we have to have a negative in our final expression. 2a, and then b to the 7th divided by b to the 4th will leave us with b to the 3rd. And then we have just 7 divided by 7 will leave us with a positive 1. And then a squared divided by a is also just 1. Okay, so a squared divided by a squared will leave us with just 1. 1 times 1 is still 1. And b to the 4th divided by b to the 4th will also leave us with 1. 1 times 1 is still 1. So that's just going to completely divide out, and we'll just be left with a 1 right there. So make sure that even if everything completely divides out, that you still have a 1 right here. Remember, 7 divided by 7 is 1. We still need a term to represent that. Okay, so that means that our factored form for this one is right here. And whenever you go to do factoring, Remember that you want to look for a GCF, put that GCF out in front, and divide it into each term, write what is left in the parentheses.